With the Edo State Governorship election just weeks away, members of the Edo Civil Society Organization, EDOSCO, have charged political parties and its candidates to adhere to issues based campaign or issue based campaign so as not to over overstress the already charged up political atmosphere in the state. The coalition of civil rights groups in the state with huge membership strength within Oyo's Edo State and in the diaspora made this known when it launched the selection situation at its secretariat in Benin City, the Edo State capital. Addressing journalists, they noted that it has become necessary for them to issue statements in regard to the forthcoming governorship elections that is slated to hold on the 21st of September 2024. ...of communal crisis and court-related killings. In the last presidential elections, very low incident of violence was recorded in Edo State. The local government election came with some record of high violence due to its grassroots nature and the intent of the ruling party to take it all by force, which is prevalent in local government council elections across the country. Worthy of mention in the forthcoming election is the incident that happened in Bini Airport on July 18, 2024, involving the governorship candidate of the APC, Senator Mondi Okwebolo, and Right Honorable Philip Shoebu, who came to Benin to enforce a purported court ruling, reinstating him as the deputy governor. It was an unfortunate situation that saw to the death of one inspector, Ako Onu, an orderly attached to Senator Mondi Okwebolu. We are using this medium to urge the Nigerian police force to carry out district and unbiased investigation on the matter to prove for once that the life of an average ordinary Nigerian person is valuable. There have been disturbing reports of violence in some parts of the state. Political parties, intolerance of each other, physical attacks, destruction of campaign materials, and personal properties have been reported as regular occurrences. We have also received credible reports of violence in some voters' card coalition centers where armed talks harass, threaten, and chase away voters they can't confirm their political party loyalty. The incident of collection of voters' cards by proxies or by political party agents have become a common practice with the assurance, with the assured conspiracy of INEC officials. Why security agencies look the other way to the helplessness of patriotic citizens with genuine voting intentions. Most very recently, in the violence attack at Umura in Owa West local government area, where a young man was beaten to pop and left in his pool of blood to die by a gang of political opponents. That one just happened like three days ago. The New Nigeria People's Party says the party is committed towards addressing the spate of kidnapping and other crimes in Ogun State. As such, the party notes it will be considering or consolidating intelligence at the local level towards ensuring insecurity is brought to the barest minimum. The National Secretary of the party, Comrade Olap Olamiposi Ogini, made this known in his remarks at the party's local government primary elections held in Abiyokuta, the Ogun State capital. At an exercise monitored by the Ogun State Independent Electoral Commission, which saw candidates emerge across the 20 local government areas of the state, the National Secretary, however, charged the candidates to be change agents. The NNPP scribe also sought the cooperation of the Ogun State Independent Electoral Commission to live up to expectations by conducting a credible election. They want to say that the issue that I'll be battling this station Firstly, is the issue of kidnapping that is happening at our localities. And as the elected member of this party by the special grace of God, we have it as part of our cardinal point to make sure that the issue of kidnapping in all the news and planning of Ogun State is a bit of the past. Because it is the local people that know these people. It is the local people that know people that are coming within their corridor. And as a matter of fact, it is only the elected officers who are representing our people at the local level that can fish out these kidnappers and make sure that this thing is not things of the past. In the same vein, why are we clamoring for local government autonomy? The reason is that it is you that is in each locality as a local government representative or councillor or a chairman that knows the problem that is confronting your people at the local level. It is you that knows whether your problem is portable water, 
or is it electricity, is it road, so that people who are outside that did not live within your locality may not know the problem. Therefore, as you are going in to take over power at the level of affairs at the local level, I want you to be, let it be at the back of your mind that you want to leave a legacy, a legacy of hope. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.